and asked to see the map collection is sensational. Although there's a book now that Glenn did, but you can actually buy the book and have it at home. And um, so I said, I need a map, you know, pre-freeway, pre-war. And he pulls out this gigantic, it's about as big as this whole deal here, a uh, hand-drawn 1941. And whoever did this it, it, it was a map maker, a pretty well-known guy, who then sold out to the Tom, Thomas Brothers. It's a hand-drawn, everything is there. And it was, it's amazing, it's beautiful how it was done. It's like Durer made this or something. And then, over time, it's on heavy paper. It had been damaged in fires. People had written a Chinese, uh, I want two egg food youngs, I want chopsy. <laughs> and so, and then there were cigarette burners. So this thing had been all through all kinds of years and stuff like that. It was burned when the fire, when the uh, library burned. So I said, I need to copy this. Then I can use it. I can plot these things and I can have it. And it's just sitting there talking to it like the book does. So what, what Glenn did, this is just between ourselves here, <laughs> he rolled it up, that's big, you know, he rolled it up, he rolled it up, he put it in a tube, and he says, let's take a walk. He tips a hat to the guard at the door, <laughs> go out, go to my car, that's it. You're never supposed to do that. So I took the thing, took it down to this digital, uh, scanning outfit. They used four big cameras, like it took a long time, and made a copy uh, and that, and uh, brought it back, hello, to the guard, <laughs> without which you can't operate. You just can't. I, 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 I think these things are so singular, you know. When you see one, you know this is the only one like it. And I've seen that map in movies. I suppose there were other copies of it. <laughs> you know, police stations. They're in police stations. They were pins in them. Yeah, this is where the trouble is over here. <laughs> and, uh, and, and that sort of thing. So that's that's really good. And uh, luckily, you know, I've, I've met people. I met a, a man who knows everything about the streetcar system in Los Angeles. Knows everything about it. Every track, every corner, every building. The names of the motorman. He knows the uh, who made the cars, what what the paint code on the trim. So I shot him over that story about the trolley car operator, and I said, "Correct me all." You know, I said, the story here. I want you to correct the language. He says, "Does anything bad happen to the motorman?" <laughs> I said, "No, Dave. No." He triumphs actually. Oh, good, because the brothers won't like it if something bad. <laughs> So he straightened all the language. You would never know what it means. How does he get going? How does he stop? It wasn't like another turning, turning around. You didn't back it up. Or you don't back it up. Yeah, because it's, it's double-ended, and you set, you, you bring down one pole, and then you bring up the other pole, and you have to know these things. You know? So there are people out there uh, who can help and tell you things, and uh, although they're not young, you know, and, uh, none of us are. So it's getting, it's going to get harder to do. This stuff isn't on the internet, by the way. Well, maybe it is, but not in a person-to-person -person way. That's the thing that interests me more, you know, the people you meet and talk to. And they have something, and then they'll tell you something you really need to know, and then off you go.